Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and Product Reviews. And today we're gonna to take a look at the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse Tool. Now, the Fuse Tool is an amazing way to make your own scrapbook pocket pages, cards, the ever popular shaker cards, and much more. Now in this video, I wanna take a look at what comes in the different combinations of Fuse Tool, go over a few tips and tricks for you, also, take a look on how you can create your own shaker card and your own personal pocket scrapbook page. But let's first take a look at what comes in the box. So out on the market, there is a wide variety of different packages you can get for the Fuse tool. The two that I'm showing you is the basic Fuse tool, which you're going to find in most craft stores and on Amazon. This is going to come with the basic Fuse tool, the fusing tip, the cutting tip, the fuse stand, and a six inch ruler to make sure your lines are nice and straight. So for this specific video, I'm going to be using the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse with Ultimate Accessory Bundle and Card Kit. This was exclusive to HSN and it comes with a ton of stuff. The basic package is going to come with the fuse tool, a tool stand, a 13 by 13 inch silicon mat, the fusing tip, the cutting tip, and two decorative tips. You're also going to get a 12 inch decorative edge ruler and a six and a half inch ruler to make sure all of your lines are nice and straight on your pocket page. This package also comes with 15 12 by 12 inch page protectors, 20 four by six inch waterfall sleeves, 20 4 by 4 inch waterfall sleeves, 20 2 by 2 inch waterfall sleeves, and 20 in stack size waterfall sleeves, 6 fusible shaker cards, 6 shaker pockets, sequence to fill in the shaker pockets. You'll also get 6 fusible cards, 52 fusible embellishments, 39 gold foil photo sleeve embellishments, and 12 envelopes. So now that we know what comes in all the different packages, let's go ahead and see what the Fuse Tool can do for you. Now, the most reason people buy the Fuse Tool is to make their own pocket scrapbook pages. This is a great tool for that because it really lets you go off the page and do anything you want. Another reason are those ever popular shaker cards. So I'm gonna show you how to create both of these projects using the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse Tool. Let's get started with the personal pocket scrapbook page. So let's go ahead and have some fun and create our first pocket scrapbook page. Now there is a couple of tips I wanna go over with you before we get started. The first one is if you bought the HSN Ultimate Accessory Package, you got this nice 12 by 12 silicone mat. This is going to protect your work surface and give you a nice impression when you're using your Fuse Tool. If you bought the standard Fuse tool package. This did not come with a mat. So you're going to want to invest in a mat and I highly recommend the We Are Memory Keepers glass mat. It's perfect for protecting your surface and because it's a hard surface you'll get a nice impression. The other things you want to go ahead and make sure is you want to plan out your page. Your page here obviously on the back is going to have other things. So if you're using any kind of project life or any kind of pocket scrapbook on the back side, of course, is going to have a pattern. You want to go ahead and make sure that when you're planning out your page, it's stuff that makes sense on the back. Now, one of the other things you want to make sure is to heat your tool up. The instructions say for about 10 minutes. However, I've noticed if I heat it up for 20 minutes, I get a much better uh, fuse on my scrapbook. It still fuses after 10 minutes, but I've noticed it's just not as clean. One of the other things is, is if you ever change out your fuse tip here with one of the decorative tips, the instructions are going to say, unplug your fuse and go ahead and wait for it to cool, change out the tip. The problem with this is it's really time consuming. So I recommend using any kind of set of pliers or anything, and this way you can go ahead and change out your tip by holding this and unscrewing. This way you're not wasting time for your fuse to heat up and cool down. Also, when you do put in a new tip, make sure it is not overly tight, but it's tight enough so the heat can transfer from the tool to the tip right here. 
One last thing is when you're using a lot of these pro, uh, pocket scrapbooks, you might be using your own paper. For me, I like the nice rounded corner edges here. So if I'm using my own paper, I definitely recommend getting some sort of corner chopper. These are the We Are Memory Keeper. And this way you can go ahead, use any kind of paper and chomp the corners. I'm also going to be using the waterfall pages that came with my HSN Ultimate Package. These are a great way so you can actually add a lot of different photos on your layout and people can flip through it, makes it really interactive. I'm also going to show you how you can add sequins to kind of give a shaker card look to your page layout. And then also we're going to be using nice triangle shapes. So this way it kind of gives your page a little bit more of a breakup and it's not all square. So now that I've given you the tips, we're going to go ahead and start working from the bottom right here up. Now I've seen some people lay out their entire page in their 12 by 12 scrapbook and then fuse everything around. However, I like to put one item in, fuse it, and then work up and fuse as I go. Then at the end, we'll go ahead and add our waterfall dog pictures here and our sequins. So let's go ahead and get started. And here is our first card in there, positioned just perfectly. It's not moving as you can see. So let's go ahead and use these real fun waterfall photo inserts here. Now in your ultimate package, you got uh, a whole bunch of these in different sizes, so you can play a lot with it. Now these ones here are gonna be going horizontally, but you can also do vertically going down this way. Now the real important thing on this is once again, you just wanna make sure you plan out your page so you know exactly what you wanna do. But they're very simple to use. You're gonna start with the first one wherever you would like it, which this one I'm gonna kinda of go right here in this bottom corner. And then just using your ruler, you're just gonna go ahead and fuse the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and position this one exactly where I want it. And then once I have it there, I can go ahead and fuse it using my And there we have a nice interactive waterfall feature. Now what we need to do is line up our second one. And I'm doing these in order of we got our pups. So this is our puppies here. There's a little Han and Maya was our pup right before Han. So I'm gonna be doing that working this way. What we're gonna do is line it up where we want to. And I knew that measuring this that I wanted it to be about two inches apart. Make sure it's nice and even. And then once again, just using your ruler, put it down, using your fuse tool, make a nice fuse. And now we have a nice interactive waterfall feature. So we have all of our waterfall pictures in, and isn't that cute? I just love these waterfall pictures. Normally, I could not fit six pictures on one page, but with this, not only is it interactive, but it's fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish working on fusing the rest of this page, and I'm gonna work up here. Now, I've already positioned the three here with their names on it, and I'm gonna go and make sure it is lined up perfectly using my 12-inch fuse ruler, and then I'll fuse it here. And then I'm going to go ahead and start working on these and fusing these up here. The last thing I want to show you is how you can incorporate 
anything inside of your pocket pages. Now I'm just doing a shaker type of card and I'm gonna be putting these where it says puppy, but you could put sand, you could put seashells, uh, a lock of baby's hair, petals from a flower, and really, really make these a personal page. All I'm going to do is take my pocket page at the top here where I had that puppy, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these shakers in there. Now, it's really important that you just dump the shakers in the front of the pouch, not in the back, because obviously you're going to have other things on the back there. Once you have it in there, and I cannot stress it enough, when you're using the fuse tool and you're going to be incorporating any kind of shaker cards, make sure you got a good fuse, because what will happen sometimes if you didn't, you're gonna be done with your page, you love it, you lift it up, and all these sequins will fall down if you did not get a good fuse. Once you have that in there, we can go ahead and make sure our card is positioned where we want it. And using our ruler here, we're just gonna go ahead and seal the top here. And I went over it twice just because I wanna make sure I get a good seal. So if the shakers go down, as you can see, they're, they're not coming out. The great thing though on these waterfalls is the back pouch is still open. So we were able to add these four by six cards that came with that Becky Higgins pack and put all of the dog's names on it. So it's not just that white background, you actually have their names, real fun, interactive. I absolutely love using the fuse to make custom pages. So let's go ahead and now take a look at how to make these fun shaker cards. Now shaker cards right now are huge. A lot of people are making them. And what's great is in the HSN pack, they give you everything you need to make your shaker card. So you have your base, you have your pouch, they gave you some sequins. And then we have, of course, all of our elements here that we wanna put on the shaker card to make it a fun little card. So the first thing you need to do is take your little shaker pouches they gave you here. It's already fused naturally on the three sides. And then what we need to do is go ahead, fill it with the sequins, which came from here. And we're just going to fuse the top of that. Now you can just eyeball this because obviously it's not too important, but you do want the fuse to happen kind of towards the top. So that way your shaker card or your sequins have enough room in there to shake. Once again, anytime you're doing anything with sequins, you wanna make sure you got a nice fuse. So I always kind of test it out by shaking the sequins really good, none came out. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and hear that to our shaker card. So on the back here, there's already a hole that has been provided to us. We're gonna line that up here and then you're just going to fuse it onto the paper. Now this paper is special, fusible paper. You can actually get a pack of 12 by 12 fusible paper that you can use on your favorite die cutting machine to cut into any shape you would like. This card here, just to show you real quick, the thank you, the star border here actually came from Cricut Images and I was able to cut this on my Cricut Explorer using the paper setting. So I highly recommend buying that fusible paper pack. But once all of our pieces are down, we're going to go ahead and flip it around we're gonna fold in the first shaker card, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to adhere right here, down and down. So let's do that now. As you see, we have a nice shaker card there. Now, just a few more couple tips and I can't stress enough. When you're using the fusible paper, if you're using the ruler, which I don't really recommend, it is hard to get a nice fuse because once again, the more pressure and the slower you go on this, the better you're going to be with these shaker cards. So as I use the ruler, sometimes I didn't get a good fuse. 
Uh, so keep that in mind and go slow with this because as you can see, when you use the fuse tool, it's going to leave that nice little white line here. So if you have to go back over it or put another white line, uh, that's gonna be visible. So unlike the pocket pages, you can kind of go over it and you really can't see it. This one, you definitely see where you fused it. So it does give it a kind of a nice little look, but keep that in mind when you are fusing your items. So before you start with fusible paper, I highly recommend taking a little bit of it and practicing until you get your pressure and speed right. So there's just a few projects we can make using the new We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool. You can make the popular shaker cards and you can make the amazing 12 by 12 pocket scrapbooks. In this one, we used the nice waterfall photo sleeves, which made the page interactive, and I was able to fit six different pictures on this one 12 by 12 page. So what are my final thoughts on the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool? This is an amazing tool if you're someone that likes the scrapbook featuring the pocket pages. Now, when I originally bought this tool, I bought it because of the fusible paper. Saw it on HSN and I thought, what a great idea that I'm able to use fusible paper on my cards. And I wasn't a big pocket scrapbooker. However, once I got the product, I started testing it and I have to say, I fell in love with the fuse tool when it came to pocket scrapbooking. The reason I didn't like pocket scrapbooking is I had to always conform to all the different pages that were already sized for me. And I hated all the planning. This gives you the freedom to do whatever you want in your pocket scrapbooking. So I really, really love it for that. Now, when it came to the pocket scrapbooking, it does an amazing job. It fuses all of your uh, sheet protectors perfectly and everything just works with that. Now, when it came to the fusible paper, it does a good job. However, it takes some getting used to. You have to definitely test it out before you start your project. You need to slow down on that and use a little bit more pressure. But once you get it down, it's amazing. Now, don't forget, you can also buy the specific 12 by 12 fusible paper from We Are Memory Keepers, which will give you ultimate possibilities. Those you can run through die cutting machines, you can run it through your cuddle bug, and that way you can fuse it and just have a ton of different options. So I have to say, if you're someone that is looking at the We Are Memory Keepers fuse tool, I think it's a great tool for your scrapbook room. Make sure you're checking out my blog for all of my projects I create with the new Fuse tool. You can check that out over at www.creativeken.com. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my future reviews and what I think of the new crafting product. Make sure you're checking me out on Facebook and my Facebook groups on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and pretty much anywhere else I can be social on the internet. If you're interested in purchasing any of the product I've used in this video, check below in the description and I've given you every single link of every product I used in this video to make it easy for you to find everything you need to do your own projects. All right, everyone, thanks for checking out today's review. I hope you go out there and create something magical. Thanks, everyone.